Hey everybody, this is Brian. Welcome to the drumroll. Where are we? Continue our conversation about classes. If you're trying to follow along with the official documentation, we are on extending a class. So extending a class, use extends to create a subclass and super to refer to the superclass. What in the heck does that mean? Well, we're going to cover that um, over the next three tutorials. Um, and I'm going to do a little bit here. I'm going to actually cover how to extend the class, abstract classes, and mixins. Um, but we're gonna have to kind of break it up to a few tutorials. So let's just get going with this one here. And let's do next. Ugh, gotta adjust my office chair here. What's up with that? And while that is calculating the meaning of life to everything, I'm gonna actually adjust this chair. Man, it's like driving me nuts. All right, so what we're gonna look at here is classes and inheritance and you may have heard of inheritance before in other languages so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to make a new dart file we'll call it mammal and in mammal we're gonna make a class and we're gonna say bull has backbone And we're going to make another bull has hair because a mammal has to have a backbone and hair. And there is our beautiful mammal class in all of its glory. So what we want to do now is actually make another one. And we're going to call this feline. For all you cat lovers out there, we're going to import the mammal class. And we're going to say class feline and this is where the extends keyword comes in extends mammal so what have we actually done here if you, you're not familiar at all with inheritance and what I'm talking about here is we're extending this class it used to be the keyword used to be in other languages inherit or it was just a semicolon um, so what we're doing is we're taking the mammal class and actually adding to it or extending it so we're gonna say bull has claws because most cats have claws and then we're just gonna make this void test we're gonna say assert and you notice how IntelliSense is smart enough to know what's going on here has claws has backbone has hair so you can see the other properties here so we're just going to assert that this has a backbone and we're going to assert that it has hair now what assert does is it actually throws an error message if this tries anything and it doesn't evaluate to true um, so that's just a test function we're gonna leave in there for now but what we're gonna do is take this even further and show you that you can do some really cool things with inheritance here so now we're gonna take our feline class that we made we're gonna make a class we'll call it lion And we're going to say void roar. And let's just do this. So tomorrow is Thanksgiving while I'm typing here. And uh, I'm actually kind of nervous because I'm cooking a turkey for the first time. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting here. Some people have told me to cook the turkey upside down. Some people have told me to not stuff it. Some people have told me to stuff it. Some people have told me to do all of these crazy things. One person told me to get like a surgical syringe and actually inject things into it. Uh, I'm guessing that's how you actually like calm down your guests. You just like inject like some sort of sedative into the turkey. All right, so what we're doing here is we've got our test and we've got our roar function. Now let's actually just test this whole thing out. Let's get rid of this. And let's say lion, Simba, why not? Is that actually how you spell Simba? Oh well. Equal new lion. And we're gonna say Simba dot, and you notice how, bam, it has all these other properties here. So we can actually call test. We can actually make him roar, although I don't think Simba would roar, but 
Come on, keyboard, you can do it. I believe in you. And he's roaring, and the test ran. Um, we can actually go back here, and this is uh, this is a tricky thing about inheritance. Let's say back in the mammal class here, we flip this to false. Then we're going to say not all mammals have hair because I'm changing everything. Well, you can see how feline's test is now going to just explode. Lion's test is now just going to explode. So let's run this and see what happens. And you see unhandled exemption, failed assertion, meaning our assert statement evaluated to false, has hair is not true. And it's saying line 7, number 12. So there's 712, bam, that's where our issue is, right here. And then we can kind of do this, and you can see how it's in lion test, da 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 da. What we can actually try here is play around with what's called the super class, and we can say super, whoops test. So what is this actually doing? Super actually grabs the class that you're extending, in this case feline, and it's going to call test here in feline. So let's actually do this, print testing in feline. And let's do this, print Testing in Lion. That way we know exactly where this is coming from here. And you can see how it's testing in Lion, testing in Feline, because this is being called, but then we're calling super.test, which is actually calling in Feline. Now, this assert function is actually failing right here, it's saying blah, 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 line 9, 12 is not true. And we can see how it's calling feline test right here and it gives you the path to the file I think yep you can actually click on it it takes you right to it so you can follow this is called a, um, a trail here if you will or a stack trace you can see that it's being called here it's being called here and finally boom that's where the error is being called so that is the tricky part about inheritance is if you make something and other people inherit classes and extend them um, you can really break a lot of things so you have to be a little careful and you have to almost not trust what you're extending and that is where overrides come in right so we should just put override there so we know what we're doing here um, this is just a declaration telling us that we're overriding this what we could actually do is we could actually put a, a setter in here and set that to true um, but I'm not going to mess around with it. I want to leave this as is so you understand the some of the pitfalls that can happen when you're doing inheritance. So to kind of recap here, we have our lion class. The lion inherits from feline. The feline actually inherits from mammal. And let's flip this back to true. That way if somebody downloads the code, it's not going to have an error and I don't get 100 hate mails. So what is mammal really doing here? Mammal is considered the root super class, if you will, meaning it's not extending anything else. It's just the base class, if you will. Um, all of these properties then flow up through all of the other things that are inheriting it. So that is inheritance in a nutshell. Um, short, simple, to the point, but a very powerful feature. Um, you can do a lot of cool things with this, but you can also paint yourself into a corner. So definitely structure your programs well. That's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you found this educational and entertaining. If you're looking for the source code for this and other tutorials, go out to my website, voidrums.com. You can go out to GitHub and download all the source. Um, also, there is a Voidrums Facebook group with 1,700 other programmers out there that can definitely help you if you have any issues.